Hello everyone. Today we'll be working in Module 3, Lesson 17. At the end of today's lesson, you will be able to say, I can identify patterns in multiplication and division facts using the multiplication table. Let's look at some of the materials we'll need today. You'll need to gather a personal whiteboard, a marker, and possibly an eraser. The problem set that goes with Lesson 17, and an orange crayon. Let's get started. Write the products to complete the table, then color all the squares that have even products orange. When I look at the table, I can see that 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 is an even number, so I colored the square orange. 3 times 1 equals 3, and I know 3 is an odd number, so I left that square blank. Please go through with your learning guide and solve the equations, and when you see an even number as a product, shade that box orange. You will need to pause the video now so that you and your learning guide can complete this activity. Once complete, press play. What did you notice as you were going through the activity about factors of even products? Did you happen to see a pattern? I did. I noticed that sometimes when I had an even product, I had an odd number, like the number three, and an even product, or an even factor, like the number two. But even though I had one odd factor, I still had an even product. Just like here. I also noticed that if I had an even factor times an, another even factor, I had an even product. Then when I looked at the squares that I, that I didn't shave in, I noticed something very interesting. There were no even numbers included in any of these equations, including the product. I know that 5 times 3 is 15, and they're all odd numbers. So the pattern that I identified here and I hope you did too, was that even products have, can have an odd and an even factor and can have an even and an even factor. They both end up with even products. However, if I have an odd times an odd factor, I will always have an odd product. When I compared the shaded columns and the shaded rows, I noticed something interesting about the factors. They all had certain factors in common. Did you notice what factors all of the shaded rows had in common? Twos, 
fours, sixes, eights. And this was a common theme. I saw the number two a lot. I saw the factor four a lot as well. Six was in almost every shaded spot, as well as many had the number eight. So what factors were in common? Two, four, six, and eight. Let's review the rules that we learned in the lesson today. Even times even numbers equals an even product. An odd times even number equals an even product. And odd times odd numbers equal an odd product. And we can give an example of each here. This might be a good thing to uh, put in your math notebook. Even numbers like eight times four equals an even product, 32. An odd number like five times eight, an even number equals an even product, 40. And two odd numbers like five times five, equals an odd product. You are now on your way to identifying patterns in multiplication and we'll be applying that to division facts as well using the multiplication table.